Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Environment Minister's Minister stated that the Liberal government does not measure the annual emissions directly reduced from the carbon tax. And then the Minister said the government does measure this. It can't be both. So how many emissions were directly reduced from the carbon tax in 2023? Not the projection, not the estimate, just the result. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, Canadians know that climate change is an urgent threat that requires significant, decisive action. In recent years, climate change has had unprecedented effects on Canadians and people globally. Impacts from climate change are wide-ranging, affecting our homes, cost of living, infrastructure, health and safety, and economic activity in communities across Canada and around the world. The federal approach to carbon pricing is designed with affordability in mind. We know it is not enough to create a cleaner economy. We have to make sure that Canadians can afford it. Where federal fuel charge proceeds are returned directly to households, eight out of 10 families actually get more back through the Canada carbon rebate than they pay, meaning that this system is helping the cost of living for a majority of Canadian families. Let's not be nearsighted. Climate change is a global challenge and the costs of action are high. As the IPCC made clear last year, climate change is an urgent threat that requires significant, decisive actions. Canadians want climate action and the government owes it to them to be responsible and use policies that we know are the most efficient and cost effective. Our approach ensures that Canadians are well placed to benefit from the opportunities created by the global transition underway. The Honourable Member for Dauphin Swan River Nipawa. Well, Mr. Speaker, the government didn't answer my question. I'm not asking about projections. I didn't even mention about anything about this. Didn't, an, didn't mention anything about percentages. I'm not asking about estimates and totally didn't even answer my question. So I'll, I'll ask, I'm asking about results. So my question is very, very simple. How many emissions were directly reduced from the carbon tax in 2023? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Carbon, carbon pricing is an effective and essential part of any serious response to the global challenge of climate change. Carbon pricing works by putting a cost on the thing we don't want, which is great greenhouse gas emissions, and adding value to the things we do want, clean air, reliable, affordable, clean energy, and sustainable jobs. The federal approach to pricing carbon pollution is designed with a focus on affordability. Its goal is to reduce pollution, not raise revenues. Our approach puts money back in the pockets of Canadians. In fact, 8 out of 10 households get back more in the Canada carbon rebate payments than they pay as a result of the federal carbon pricing system. This has been confirmed repeatedly in independent studies, including by the Parliamentary Budget Officer. Evidence confirms that putting a price on carbon works. It spurs clean growth, supports jobs, and cuts the pollution causing climate change. Thank you.